I'm Chris, and today we're going to talk about some of the carving I do, some introduction to the carving I do. I won't go through the whole process, uh, but I'm going to start with this veneered panel that I've made. I veneer all the panels myself from some select veneers that I pick out, particular for the project. In this case, I have a walnut burl that is quad matched. You can see that interesting quad match pattern in the center. That is this whole area here. And on the side edges and on the back, it is curly eucalyptus. I like solid wood for a lot of projects, but the veneer really gives you the options for these interesting patterns when the main visual is going to be kind of a planar surface, or you can also do curved surfaces. But especially something that's gonna be carving, I like a really nice selected veneer to get those interesting effects. The burl here has a lot of depth to it. You can see some of that in the light where it has uh, shifting colors of of black through brown and, and up to some gold. So this really uh, gives us a, a nice base to start with. And what I'm going to do is I, I have a, a drawing. I'm going to keep the cross as, a, as an inlay where I'm going to cut little carvings into the cross. So it has some texture too. So it's not gonna be flat either, but all of the rays coming off the cross, they'll have a nice V shape to them where you can see almost like a blade or a ray that comes off of them. And these edge pieces will also have some depth to them. These waves near the bottom will have different depths based on how wide they are. That's the way the V bit works. So let's move it to the CNC.
here's the panel with all of the carving already done. The V-bit for the waves, for the rays, and for the wings. And an end mill to make the inlay recess here for the cross to fit into. That'll make the cross fit in and be really integral to the panel, even though it will be a little bit raised to give a little bit of a texture. It's not actually a flush inlay. Uh, I wanna keep that, some of that texture, just like I wanna keep the texture down here. So here we have it, the final panel. I really like how this project turned out with the cross inlaid with a lot of texture and also all the carvings that really pop some of that texture with the paint especially. If you like what I do, if you like this project, do me a favor, hit the subscribe button. Leave me a like or a comment. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.